So as you're working with Slack, what you may want to do is access keyboard shortcuts to make things much more easier for you to work with. So to access keyboard shortcuts and to know about it, there is a keyboard shortcut and that is control backslash. So once you do that, you can see that you can access all the keyboard shortcuts in the application. Uh, if you're using a Mac, then that's command backslash. So it gives you the same option. So over here, you can see that new message is control N. So if you were to uh, press control N, it starts for new message. You can go for browse, browse channels like control shift N L right over here. So it's browsing channels right here and so forth. All unread threads, navigation. So there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts as you can see right over here. There's also scroll up and scroll down. So you want to go over here onto something like planning or something like public where there's a bit of messages in it. So what you can do is you can scroll up and down by pressing pays up and pays down and you know it through the keyboard shortcuts listed out right here. There's messaging keyboard shortcuts as well. There's bold text, italic text and so forth. Like you can autocomplete channel and so forth. There's mark messages are read as read or unread. There are keyboard shortcuts for such as well and channels and direct messages as well. There's also all unread and files and snippets right here. Like there's calls, um, keyboard shortcut for calls, work switching or when to focus on a message. So all of the keyboard shortcuts are listed and you can use them by referring it uh, from right over here just like that. You want to open up a thread then you can just go over here and then that's how uh, you actually work around with it. So that is how you can use keyboard shortcuts inside of Slack. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.